Today, we'll discuss the past year 2021 question 18, which is about the web motion. First question, three differences between progressive and standing web. So I actually compiled the differences in one of my video, and this is the slide. So you can construct your own sentence to explain about the differences between these two web. We move on to the next question. The wave propagates in the string with an amplitude of 0.35 meter, wavelength 0.667 meter, and frequency of 5 hertz. So given this formula, determine the expression for the wave. So you need to recall the general equation of a progressive wave that y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx. So a is the amplitude, omega is the angular frequency equal to 2 pi f, and k is the number of wave that can be expressed as 2 pi over lambda. So I explained about the derivation before and you can refer back to the video if you are not remember about it. So put in all the values and the expression for the wave should be equal to 0 0.3 pi sine pi bracket of 10 t minus 3x. So the next one is to determine the velocity of the wave that v is equal to f lambda. So f and lambda is given, just put in the values and the answer is 3.34 meter per second. So the next thing is to sketch and label a graph for the displacement against distance of the wave at t equal to zero. So we need to sketch and label. So it's displacement against distance. So three marks given, so there's something you need to put in into the graph. So first thing is we need to find out the equations when t is equal to zero. So put in the value into the general equation here, and you should be able to see that the equation is 0 0.35 sine 3 pi x. So from the equations, it should be not a problem to draw the graph that it has zero fast difference of the sine graph. So this is the sine graph. Okay, you need to label the amplitude, 0 0.35. And since this is the distance, okay, the x-axis is showing the distance. So a complete wave okay, should be equal to the wavelength, which is 0 0.667 meter as given in the question. We move on to the last one. Okay. Then the wave superposed with an identical wave which propagates in the opposite directions. So when you read until this point, you should be able to identify that this is about the standing wave. The okay, standing wave is the superimpose of wave that has identical amplitude but propagates in the opposite directions. So the directions has been discussed before in the syllabus and you should practice more about it. So we are given with we have done we have done with the first equations that we need to have another equations that the difference is the directions. So plus these two equations and apply the formula given, okay, you should be able to obtain the answer 0 0.7 sine 10 pi t cos 3 pi x. So that's all for this question. Thank you.